Welcome to another episode of Mind of Steel. This is the weekly show in which I, your host and raconteur, Reynard Wilson, tries to explore the wild, wonderful, wacky world of one man. His name is Mark Steel, and he's often referred to as Britain's most ludicrous conspiracy theorist. Today's video is a rather serious affair because I've taken as my source material a bit shoot video called Exposing the Cult. Today's show will be an appeal for information because Mark Steele has some questions that urgently need to be answered. Uh, this character here called Reynard Wilson, right? Now we've got some serious concerns about him, okay? And that's why we need people to identify what his real name is. If you have any information that might lead to the identity or the whereabouts of this man, please call Mark Steele or your local Save Us Now law enforcement official. Because obviously this character has quite a number of different pseudonyms. Um, but like I said, the really concerning thing, this type of paedophilia type imagery now obviously this is how they know each other uh, this person is dangerous he may be disguised as a unicorn been doing quite a number of videos lately right with another very distasteful character uh, mctoon uh, who possibly uh, is an american he pretends to be an american but he's not he sounds like more like southern canadian this Reynard Wilson's known associates include one M.C. Toon, a frighteningly dangerous imposter who claims to be from America, but might actually be from Canada. Well, these characters have trolled uh, a number of different people, but what they definitely don't want you to do is think for one minute for yourself. Uh, a lot of the videos that they produce are uh, backed by Brigade 77 accounts. Mark's right. We're dealing with some seriously bad people here. The kind of person who might make fun of Mark Steele might also make fun of flat earthers, moon landing deniers, anti-vaxxers, and 5G truthers. These people have to be stopped. He's changed his name for a reason. And the reason we need to try and find out who this character really is, these children could be at civ of risk uh, due to the fact that these are part of a cult. He's, he's a cult member. If you know of somebody who possesses very unorthodox views, such as the belief that lamp posts will kill us, or that 5G telephone systems are actually a energy weapon kill grid, then that person might be part of a cult. But here he's admitting that he's actually, uh, he's been working for Brigade 77 this whole time. Like I said, that's his job. Okay. If the people that Mark is dealing with are actually members of 77th Brigade, and that's the British Army's intelligence division, well, it means that Mark Steele isn't just some zany wackaloon with far out fringe ideas and far too much time on his hands. No, it means that Mark Steele is the victim of a vast, complex, sprawling government conspiracy to suppress the truth about his ideas concerning 5G, lamp posts, and all the other strange things that he blames Gateshead Council for. So here we have his sidekick here, another. So you can see, see that's a cult, that's the cult symbol being pulled, right, for the whole class. We are very fortunate that Mark is so expert in the identification of these signs and symbols that members of secret cults often use. It, it, it's funny how these people who are, are inside a secret cult just can't help blabbing their mouths about all, like, all the cult stuff. Like it's a, hey, I'm in a secret cult. How about you? Yes, I'm in a secret cult too. Let's all have a secret cult handshake party and we'll have a good old... That's, that's how it works, apparently. Everyone who's in a secret cult is, is, is plastering the, the walls 
and, and the surfaces and every single moment, it's, it's, it's handshakes and, and wackadoodle symbols and that's just how secret cults work. They're all, they can't stop talking about it. Can you find out who he is, right? Because children could be at risk. Children might be at risk. Then again, they probably won't be in this case because Mark Steele hasn't presented a shred of evidence to back up his zany ideas. I think the only thing that's at risk here is Mark Steele's emotional state because somebody said a mean thing about him on the internet. Somebody's criticized his ideas. The fact that he makes outrageous wackadoodle claims without any evidence. And he can't handle any kind of criticism, which is why he resorts to these schoolyard insults. And finding out his real name could uncover some type of uh, cult, some satanic cult child trafficking ring. Well, there you have it. Mark has revealed that all of the people in the world who don't like him or disagree with him and think that his message is stupid nonsense without any factual basis, well, all of those people are members of a dangerous cult. And if those cult members are allowed to continue doing whatever it is they do, but mostly criticizing Mark Steele, then it's likely that children might be at risk. As soon as you've finished watching this video, hop over to bitshoot.com and search for that video and leave Mark a comment. Perhaps if you have any information about the identity of the people who have been upsetting him and hurting his little feelings, perhaps you could tell Mark and help him with this important investigation. And maybe, just maybe, we can shut down this cult of all the people in the world who think Mark Steele is wrong. And until next week, let's hope that Mark manages to shut down this cult who's been saying mean things to him and criticizing him a bit. Because in a week's time, I'll have another episode of Mind of Steel, and we can do it all again. Um, goodbye to you, and of course, goodbye to our special viewer, the one who I know watches every single episode of these shows. Goodbye to you, Mark Steele. I wish you luck.